Hi, I'm Venus O'Hara and welcome to another video. This video is a little bit different from my normal videos, but I was so excited I wanted to share my blood results with you. This means a lot to me because recently I was quite sick. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I was in hospital in February. I had pneumonia and um, before I went to hospital, I was so weak. I had um, fever. I didn't eat for a long time. I was so, so, so weak. I had completely lost my appetite. And while I was in hospital, my blood results were so bad. I mean, really bad. And I also had anemia. And um, I, I haven't eaten meat now for 25 years. But over those years, I've never had anemia before. And for three years, I've been a vegan. So there is this kind of belief that if you're not eating red meat, then you're going to have anemia. And that was the kind of... Um, belief system of the doctors that were treating me it was kind of like you're anemic not because you're sick but because you're vegan so when I came out of hospital I was thinking I'm gonna really make an effort with my food and um, overcome this anemia naturally and so now it's um, almost three months later and I had blood tests I'm so happy because I no longer have anemia and my iron levels are really good it's around let me see what it says um, ferritin 74.55 and the ranges are from the normal range should be from 13 to 150 so I'm doing quite well there and also hemoglobin 13.5 and when I was in hospital well the range is, is from 12 to 16 so 13.5 is pretty good so I'm very 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 happy about that and everything else is in a in in the normal range that's very 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 good i'm very happy with that yes so i have been making a massive effort with my food i have um, started buying everything in a um, local organic shop with zero kilometer which means that all the food has just made one journey from the farm and everything is organic so no pesticides or anything like that and the taste is amazing the price is quite um, a lot but i just think you know I'm worth it. <laughs> but also I just think I'm not really spending any money on um, alcohol or going out. Obviously we can't do that much of that at the moment with um, lockdown, but I don't drink alcohol anyway. And I'm just, um, yeah, I've just increased my self-love budget, which I think I think is a wonderful thing to do. And I'm just really enjoying food. And um, I've never been on a diet um, per se. I, I do not consider that vegan food is actually a diet because for me, it's not about restriction or um, counting calories. I've never done that. I could never do that because I just love food so much. For me, it's just um, I, I eat plant-based foods in abundance. I don't um, control my portions or anything. I eat whatever I want, more or less. And also now I'm just discovering new, new things all the time. There are things that I've never tried before or seen before every time I go to my... Um, organic shop and everything is in season as well which I think is really really important but I've tried things like purple bro broccoli that I've never tried before or romanesco I don't know if you pronounce it like that which is a kind of very weird shaped um, broccoli so I'm really um, paying a attention to lots of things and also I've also been googling every single thing I buy I, I google to see what the nutrition values are and also I've been very um, careful about vegan sources of iron and also protein, but especially iron. And um, so, and also it's really important to actually combine the um, plant-based sources of iron with vitamin C. So I've made sure I've been doing that with all my meals. I wanted to show you some of the things that I've been eating just to kind of um, boost my iron naturally. And it's definitely worked, so happy, so happy. So anyway, here is something that I discovered recently. And this is a great way for you to actually discover new foods as well. Um, these are black lentils and I love these because you don't have to soak them, you just um, boil them for 25 minutes and the taste is quite good as well. It's quite, they're smaller than normal lentils and um, yeah, I love them, love them. And also red split lentils, that's also, I love those because they're so easy to make and um, lots of iron there and it says 24 grams of protein per 100 grams, so that's pretty cool. And I just um, stick them in a pan with um, with some quinoa or something like that, just because they cook around the same time. So I only have actually one pan. But that's actually a good thing because it makes me more creative. I love kale as well, and also pistachios, which are the nut with the most iron, I read. And also 
tofu. I didn't really use, I didn't really enjoy tofu that much, but now I really love it actually. I love um, cutting it up into cubes and then having it with um, mushrooms or something. It's kind of, it's got a nice meaty texture, even though it's not, I don't like meat. And then what else? Um, pumpkin seeds, I read were quite high on iron, so I've been adding those to my orgasmic breakfasts. And also, I just bought this the other day, um, ground flax seed. I actually, can, I'm gonna buy a little grinder and then buy the normal seeds, but I thought I would check this out. This is also high in omega-3. And also one great thing which I discovered last year is fenugreek. It's got a very strong taste or smell. The taste isn't as strong as it smells actually. And it, um, I just have like a, maybe a tablespoon of that and add some water. And it starts, um, gets quite soft quite quickly. And after a couple of days, it starts sprouting. And also I make it as a tea as well. I like to have um, fenugreek and um, turmeric tea, which is very spicy. Yes, I rec recommend that a lot because I actually saw, um, I think 100 grams of fenugreek is 187% of the daily um, amount, the daily requirement of iron, which I think um, obviously that's raw, so that's you don't really eat it raw because it's like it's like stones. Hmm. Yeah, so anyway, also I wanted to talk about um, B12 as well because when I was in hospital, my B12 levels were super high. I think it was around 1,500 when the normal, um, it should normally be around 500. And that was because I was taking some supplements and on the bottle it says take one a day. But in reality, I should have been taking two a week. So I think it's very, very important now to to kind of go vegan responsibly and, um, and get blood work done and seek the help of a doctor and a nutritionist to, to make sure you're getting everything that you should be getting and, and all everything you need and um and now i haven't taken any b12 for since i was in hospitals so that's been almost three months now and um so because my levels were very high so they just come down now to a normal range but i will have to think about how i'm going to supplement from here onwards and um, i'll be getting medical advice for that mm. and definitely i don't really believe now in just buying supplements in the shop and taking them without any medical advice. I think it's very important to get blood work and um, know what you're taking because a lot of these supplements and vitamins, they have a lot more than what you need in them. So I think that's um, that would be my message to anyone really, whatever diet you're following is just to actually make sure you're getting everything you need and uh, get the blood work. Yeah. Anyway, and also the only, the only bad thing of my results is that I'm slightly low in um, vitamin D. I've just been for a walk in the sun and I'll be getting some advice on that as well, whether I need supplements or if I just need to walk in the sun. Because I don't actually go in the sun that often. I, I like to kind of keep my <laughs> English white or the kind of like white pale look. But um, maybe I will have to go for some walks in the sun without burning, of course. And um, yeah, we'll see if I need supplements or not. And then in another three months, I'm going to get some more results and see how it goes. I think goes. I think it's really important to keep an eye on these things. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you. And if you have any tips on um, nutrition or supplements or anything that I've discussed here, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you have any suggestions for new videos, don't hesitate to contact me at venus at venusohara.org or on Instagram at venusohara. Thanks for watching.